it's friday i've just got back to the yard i'm waiting to wash rachel is washing her truck for the last time she starts her maternity leave today she's really happy that she's having a baby but she's gonna really miss work because she does love truck driving now i am doing a lime readers carnival wash and there's bolty rolling past in the big v8 this Friday, I am going all out on the wash as I want it to look really clean for Lime Regis Carnival tomorrow. And just like magic, she's all parked up and nice and clean. I'm only taking the tractor unit to Lime Regis as I wouldn't get the trailer around the carnival route. I'm going to drop the trailer now as I have a party to go to after the carnival tomorrow, so I don't want to drop the trailer in my nice clothes. And I know I'm the sort of person that would get fifth wheel grease everywhere just when I don't want to. I'm in the car now, all packed up, and we're popping to the pub say good luck and happy baby to rachel if that's what it's called so basically she's going to sit there and watch us all have a pint for her the very first thing i'm going to do is put my contacts in i hate putting contacts in oh is it in kind of yep it's in it's in oh that one went in straight away normally that's my dodgy eye and as I'm sure you don't want to see the whole process of me getting ready. Now that I'm ready, it's off to the yard. Even though tonight is not for hiring reward, I still put my digicard in and I still complete my daily checks and fill out a daily checks book. Now we can get on our way. As the truck is clean and I want to keep it that way, I take the slightly longer yet cleaner route to Lyme Regis. I head north on the M5 down to Exeter where I take the A303 down to Honiton, where I pick up the A35, and then down Trinity Hill, so that I'm the right end of Lyme Regis for the carnival. We were asked to meet in the car park just before six, and there are a few of Wayne's already down here. This is where we will have a briefing from one of the organizers. Right chaps, I've got you down as Wayne's one to five, right? I'm gonna give this lady here yeah. That, yeah, that list, all right. So let me give you that. Right. Um, that's got literally the order of everything we know. The five trucks are going to be spread out throughout the carnival, so we're asked to park on the road in the order that we're slotting in with the other entries. Apparently I am in charge tonight and I have got the lineup run through. There are 40 entries. <laughs> There's a little bit of rain on the way down to Lyme Regis, but I have plenty of time to have a whip round the truck with the polish. We have Dean's brand new DAF XG at the back with Avatar on the back. Then Dave's old S500 with Nelson on the back, which is the one that used to have the bull bar. Then the R500 with Titanic on the back. Second in line is my old R490 with the Perfect Storm on the back. And if you haven't seen that film, I will warn you that you probably will cry, no matter how tough you think you are. And at the front, looking into the sea, is my S500, the Flying Dutchman. Is Kieran the truck spotter? I suppose you're the official Wayne's Transport truck spotter, aren't you? Could call me that. Yeah. Me else, so he's out in the truck with me for Lime Regis Carnival. <laughs> According to the schedule that I was given, I am after the majorettes in the carnival, so I just wait for them to go past and then I can pull out behind them. I don't reckon we we'll start yet anyway, because it's. Um... It's not eight o'clock. No. I've got my auntie on the end, my man, my mum. My mum's friend, and then a guy called Ben, but we call him Ben <laughs> We do a carnival in Wales, it's part of the Bridgewater circuit. Have you ever seen Hot Fuzz? Ah, it's where they fil filmed Hot Fuzz, but it's, it's the smallest city in the UK, and it is a nightmare getting around the roads there. There's like a bit where you go through the town, and our roof caught fire. <laughs> Ryan Gort selling his tea cabinet. Well, he was going to, but I think he's decided against it now. I wouldn't want to sell it. I no, that. I wouldn't want to. It's now eight o'clock and the procession starts to move. I'm getting ready to do lots of cheesy smiling and waving. I'm already feeling much more comfortable in this truck than the vehicle that I normally drive for carnivals. Even though I'm in a different county and miles away from home, people still recognise me from Bridgewater Carnival. Yeah, thank you. 
It's so nice seeing lots of happy smiley faces and kids giving me the arm pump, asking for the horns. And it looks like the carnivals had a really good turnout for spectators. We're now getting really close to the sea and at this point we do a hairpin bend onto the seafront. I've never actually been through a weight limit in my truck where people are so happy to see me. As we go through the seafront, you will see why I didn't bring my trailer. Like many carnivals, including ours at Bridgewater, is self-funded by a committee of volunteers. It is not easy or cheap to put on events like this. Yet, alongside providing this free entertainment, they have also raised thousands for local charities. I really love the carnival atmosphere and I'm really glad that I could fit it into my schedule. I had hoped to go to Convoy in the Park this weekend, but I'm actually really glad that I've ended up here instead, as sometimes I think the smaller, more intimate events are the best. This is the first narrow spot along the seafront that I've come across, and not only is it narrow, it's quite steep as well. So I need to find that perfect balance between keeping it steady and giving it some welly. And then somebody else spots me from Bridgewater Carnival. <laughs> the party atmosphere just seems to be getting better and better as we go down the seafront. <laughs> then I spot the big boss's daughter and her brother is on his stag do in Lyme Regis at the moment. The big boss lives in Lyme Regis and he popped up to see us before the carnival started. And just as we were about to see him watching the carnival, my battery died, but you can just see him in the distance, stood with Bruce the mechanic, whose son I took to his prom. Unfortunately, we don't see him as much as we used to, as his son is now running the lorries. He spends a lot of his time now sea fishing down at Lyme Regis, which has always been a hobby of his, which is why a lot of the airbrushing on our trucks is sea themed. The carnival route takes us round in a big loop. And as we're heading towards the cob at the end of the route, it gets really narrow. It's almost as narrow as that corner at Wales Carnival on one of my earlier videos. Luckily, I have a very good marshal out in front of me that's keeping a watchful eye out for obstacles. As you can see, there's not much space between my vehicle and the buildings. And because the buildings are quite old, they have a lot of things sticking out like windows and guttering and even low walls that are hard to see from the driver's position. I also have Kieran looking out for obstacles on the near side. We get to the end of the carnival in just over an hour, which is not bad for a carnival. My boss asked all the drivers if we wanted to stay for a bit after the carnival, but unfortunately I have to rush back for my party. Is that it? Is that the end of... So where do you want to get out? Do you want to get out of here or do you want to get out at Can the top? I get out at the top? Yeah, that's all right. Ready? Yep. Yeah. yeah. This is quite a steep hill and it takes a bit of power to get up it. And this will bring me out at the car park where we started earlier on. So have you enjoyed Carnival in a Trap? I have, thank you very much for taking it. That's right. <laughs> That's great. Well, you enjoyed your party. Thank you very much. And thank you for the flowers and um, the sake. It's warm in there, eh? It is. Do you have any time? Yes. Yeah? Yes, very good. Thank you very much. Thank That's all right. Nice no worries. Thank you. It's a shame I couldn't stay thank longer. You. Okay. Cheers, bye. And that's that, it's time to head back to the yard and this time I go the slightly shorter way. That's me all parked up back at the yard. I haven't hitched up to the trailer, I've just parked in front of it and I'm off now to my party. While we're on the subject of lorry spotters, these guys spotted me in the lay-by the other week and stopped to have a chat. I've seen them quite a few times in this spot over the last couple of summers. Shout out for UK lorry spotting and corner catches on Instagram. 